Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're going to go ahead and um, show you how to copy this data, okay, right here, and put it onto a new worksheet and delete rows, whichever rows you want, between 4 to 20 or 5 to 10 or whatever you want. Right now we currently have 100 rows of data and we want to basically make this happen um, very quick. So today I'm going to go ahead and add a user form. Alright, Alt F11 will bring this up and you can go up to insert user form or I usually just click this button here. All right, and we're going to go ahead and name the user form FRM delete. Okay. And we want to uh, make the caption choose rows. Okay. We want to use our toolbox. Okay. And here we want to put two text boxes in two labels, two buttons, okay, at that point we can get rid of that, we can go ahead and make this label, oh, we don't need to name it, we just say end date, or end row, this is the start row, This is, we need to name this text start, txt start. This is txt end. Okay, let's line this up. Line top. Uh, if you, by double clicking the corner, we'll make that uh, the correct size. And we want to align center. And this one we want to align center. Okay, this one we want to align left. This one we want to align. Okay, so the white is the one that's the master. You want to make that the one that it will align to. So. We want to align left there. Let's resize this so that it's correct size. Let's change the name here. This is CB create and CB cancel. Uh, let's align bottom. Okay. Make the caption say create. Caption say cancel. Let's get that done first. And this is unload. Okay, and me. Alright, for you that don't know, me is um, a keyword that references that object. Okay, so I double clicked uh, create and we want to declare a few variables. Dim uh, start row. As integer, dim in row, as integer, we want a dim address, a d r e s s. If you spell it correctly, it will, uh, it's a keyword and it won't let you. Okay, so um, we want to make that a string. Um, Oh, we want to declare a new workbook. Dim wb as workbooks dot at or as workbooks set that equal to wb dot. I'm um, sorry. Workbook set wb equal to workbooks dot add. Okay, and then we want to say twb. 
WB. As workbook. Sorry, you have to deal with my terrible typing. Equal to this workbook. Okay, and if you want to, uh, if if you were to make an add-in for this, you could make that active workbook, and it would work as well. All right, so let's go ahead and say um, we need to declare a few or a couple worksheets. MWS or NWS as worksheet. Set that equal to. Um, wb dot sheets, and we're gonna go ahead and say sheet one. Okay, and we need to declare this workbook or this worksheet. So we want to say dim t oops t ws as worksheet. And I'm gonna set that equal to. Um, w, uh, TWB. Well, we'll just say active sheet. Okay. So now we want to get the address equals TWS dot used range dot address. Okay, now we want to say um, nws.range address dot value oops, equals TWS dot range dot um, here we want to say address value. Okay, now we can go ahead and say nws dot range. We want to say, oh we got to set the start rows, so let's go ahead and set those. Start row equals txt me, I'm sorry, you have to say me.txt start dot value plus zero. The plus zero is important, that will convert it to an integer. So we want to say um, end row equals me.txt in dot value plus zero. Okay. Now we can say range. We am going to say start row. Ampersand in double quotes, colon, ampersand, in row, dot delete. Now let's test it out. That should do it. All right. All right, let's go ahead and then we want to say unload me. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. We got a start row of eight and an end row of 15. And let's check here. Eight is James seven to 15 is James 14. All right, let's go ahead and hit create and see what happens. And we have a bug. It did not work. All right, let's find out why. So no. So let's debug through it. So let's go ahead and um, run. We said 8 through 15. Create. All right, so we say the address. OK, um, just for your information, by hitting F8, which is what I would normally do, um, it pauses my video. So I'm going to go 
change that real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, well it won't let me while I'm recording so I'm going to go ahead and use uh, step into find out the address is A1. Oh, that's not good. Why is the address A1? Oh, it's because it's active worksheet. Okay, and that's why. Alright, so let's hit stop. Let's, uh, this is our active worksheet. So let's go ahead and now run it. Alright, so we need to use the immediate window here and say question tws.name. That's going to tell us that it, oh, twb. We want to put a question in front of that and find out what, so it's book one and this is book four. So that's correct. Oh, it's because it's, okay, I see. We need to declare the address before. Okay, so let's change that. So because we're setting this to the active sheet, um, and here we create a new workbook and that becomes the active sheet that's the reason so what we need to do is say um, we need to do this before we oops we need to do this before we create the new workbook so Sorry about that. All right, that's why it didn't work, and now it should work. All right, let's try it again. And you can tell that it closed. It did delete the correct ones. Now we only have 93. And that is how you do that. All right, thanks uh, for watching. Um, oh, I wanted to, we want to delete this. But, all right, and you can, um, if you know how to, you can add a custom UI, or you can just simply, um, you know, go to insert shapes and add a button and assign a macro. Oh. So you got to create a macro um, to open that form. So let's do that. Uh, let's go back to VBA here. Do Alt I M. That will insert a new module, and you want to say a sub open form, and you want to go ahead and say FRM delete. dot show and all right so now you can assign a macro open form okay uh, edit the text here and we can say show uh, actually we can go edit text show form it does we right click we center and center and make this a bit bigger. However you want to format it, now you do it and you can say 10 to 80. And create. Alright, you see that it does work. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.